Hello Tri-State, my name is Sean Angel, owner of Flex 151. We are Total Body Fitness 15 minutes once or twice weekly. Now you've probably heard about our crazy 99 minute workout that we compress into 15 minutes. And if you're like me, you're probably wondering how do they do that and I'm not sure I'm buying it, Sean. Well here today I'm here to talk about the math of Flex 151 and exactly how we accomplish that claim. Before we get into explaining it, I need to first establish some, some guidelines. I, as a personal trainer, I think we've forgotten what exercise really is. So I went to where I go a lot of times when I'm confused, uh, the dictionary. And I looked up exercise, and in the Merriam-Webster dictionary, exercise is defined as activity that requires physical or mental exertion, especially when performed to develop or maintain fitness. Now when I saw that exertion word, it, it popped out something that I do a lot, which is work, uh, unfortunately, like many of you watching this video. So I looked up the definition of work in the Merriam-Webster dip Dictionary, and that definition says activity in which one exerts strength or faculties to do or perform something. So I'm looking at these two definitions one day, and it looks like exercise is work. Now, I, I'm being funny because we all know that, but I think sometimes we can forget it. So why the confusion with, with our workout is that we have fallen into this trap that says more time in the gym equals more results. When at Flex, we, we turn that on its head slightly and we say, yes, you have to do the work, but it's more work produces more results. So with all that being said, a few things that makes us different, so you can understand some of these terminologies on the, on the board, is that we actually lift very slowly and we don't lock out our joints. That keeps the workload higher on our muscles and keeps our joints safe. The next thing we do is we measure the time the muscle contracts not the time we're in the gym as the barometer of our exercise success and we work to exhaustion. Now that exhaustion is at your level or at my level, it's not at uh, a level I'm imposing on you. So now that we know that, I think everybody should know this but I'm going to double check just to be safe. A repetition is a single movement of a weight back and forth, up or down. A set is a series of repetitions, and your cadence is something we never talk about really in the lifting world, and we should, but your cadence is how fast are you moving the work across uh, the range of motion. So I, instead of explaining flex and, and potentially not being able to explain it correctly, I'm going to explain flex in terms of what you know, and that's the normal gym workout, which is what I grew up doing. We're going to use seven reps and five sets for a combined total of 35 repetitions for each workout, flex style over here versus normal gym on this side. We're gonna come up with a time under load number, okay, you're looking at here. Time under load is our measurement of work. So now we need to define workload. Workload in flex definitional terms is work times time. How much did you work times the workload you were moving or pulling? Now, when I do that math, seven reps at five exercises at 35 reps, I'm going to establish a two-second cadence of a lift at the normal gym. It's usually pretty quick. You, you very rarely see anybody at the gym working 13 to 25 seconds per repetition, uh, crawling along at a snail's pace like we do. But when I add and subtract and multiply those numbers, I'm going to come up with 455 seconds of load time for one input on our formula versus 70 seconds of load time on, on the gym side for our formula. I'm going to then add just a simple weight. And hypothetically, I'm going to add 100 pounds. Now you could sub in the fact that you've got a 200 pound bench and someone else could sub in a, a 50, but I'm going to use 100 pounds for easy math. Okay. Now stay with me. The math is boring and I'm sorry, but I'm going to make this worth your while in a minute. Okay. Trust me. When I get done with that math equation, in a 15 minute workout at a normal facility, if I were resting three minutes between my workout, I'm going to do 7,000 pounds of workload. Definition workload. At flex, I'm going to do 45,500 pounds of work in the same 15 minutes. Now that 45,500 pounds is the workload that I administered on my body or imposed on my body in 7.58 minutes. So that's the interpretation. Now, why does it matter? That's the big thing. I could have made up all these numbers and you still could uh, be a little skeptical or just unsure. But when I do that math and I say, now, Sean, you used to work out in the gym and you used to do a lot more than just simple 35 reps. Come on here. All right. And I'm with you. So to equal the workload in a standard facility, you would need 227 reps 
or 32 and a half sets or 99 minutes of activity. Now I know that 99 minutes does not equal 15 because that's the reason why we're six and a half times more efficient. It's, uh, it has to do with our programming, our studying, our uh, equipment, and it has to do with our know-how, okay? Now, the reason this six and a half times matters is because if you're weight training right now a couple times a week like some people are or would like to do, you could easily get the equivalent workload of two to three weeks with a single 15-minute session. That's flex math. Now, I'm gonna bring in even more down again. Why does it matter? Okay, so you've got some math on the equation. Sean, I'm not sure I believe you. Why it matters is we want to engage our bodies for activity and to actively thrive, to keep that skeletal muscle mass on, to, to have better functioning, and so we don't waste time in the wrong buckets. As much as I love my, my company here and, and this math and, and all this, the reality is exercise, in our opinions, is about 20% of your health equation. The 80% is the opportunity cost that excess time uh, being spent in the wrong areas could, could harm your health. We need to still be getting movement in our bodies. I'm talking 7,500 to 10,000 steps a day. I mean, not sitting too much. Sitting's the new smoking on the, on the leading research because we were meant to move as people. We need to be eating right, eating the right foods. And even though I love math, even our nutritional programming we're gonna help you with is gonna tell you we are not just a simple math equation of calorie in, calorie out. We help simplify this stuff, get you back to life. So at the end of the day, I hope that this makes a little more sense how 15 minutes flex style could equal 99 minutes in a standard facility. And I would really like to uh, meet you. I'd like for somebody who's watched this video to come down, experience it and feel it real time. That's the best way. Uh, we're a, a no obligation facility. We do a 40 minute to hour consult with everyone. Now, we're not gonna arm wrestle you into a purchase sale, okay? We're just gonna show you what we do, take your health considerations, your goals in mind, and hopefully get you started onto our mission, which is to create a positive, empowering environment for our clients that creates a ripple effect out and abroad. You exercise, you eat better, you balance your time better, you make those buckets of deposit success all the way around and lives change. That's what we want for you, Tri-State. Remember, at the end of the day, we still do believe in workload. You really can't get by the, the old-fashioned definition of just do the work. But we can do the work a little smarter, a little safer, and not burn out and uh, be aggravated in the process. Please give me a call. My name is Sean Angel, owner of Flex 151. You can reach me online at mylivewellonline.com, or you can call me at 855-843-3539. Life's too short to be passively regressing. It's time to actively thrive. Thank you.